All right, this is the uh, Magnavox stereo cassette tape player from 1970. It's the model 1K8867. I got this at the estate sale. I didn't notice at the time that it looks like we're missing a piece of trim here along the front. Not exactly sure what it would have said. Maybe the model number or something. Um, solid state. A little pattern there. Sort of chromish, chromish aluminum, maybe. It's got a little pilot light when the power is on, but this one really doesn't work. Um, your control switch, stop, rewind, play, fast forward, an eject button. There's a cassette well there. I doubt we're going to be able to see much in there. Magnavox badge in the upper left. Of course, it's 1970, so we've got to have some wood on it. Looking underneath, there's some of the specifics the model number and things like that. Fort Wayne, Indiana. UL approved. Made in Japan 516. I don't know who 516 was. And our jacks right and left line out. So since there's no recording feature on here, it's a pretty darn simple machine. Let's hook it up to some amplifier or something and see what it sounds like. All right, let's give it a try. Got it hooked up to the Tandy little computer amp. The trusty old Walker's tape. funky. Sometimes I have to coax it. No, not this time. see what's inside. All right, we take three Phillips screws out. The back should come off. I have not looked in here. You're going to see it for the first time with me if this comes off or not. Hmm. Draw. 
on here. Ah, there we go. Ta-da, what's in here? And there we have it. belt could probably use changed. Sometimes you got a little bit of wow and flutter there I noticed. One big cap. Some smaller ones in our RF shield here. Capacitors under there. There's no obvious nomenclature on the motor. Alps. Well, that's all interesting. Let's put it back together. Okay, that's been the Magnavox 1K8867 stereo cassette tape player deck from 1970. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.